released in 2019, I swore I would never run again. <laughs> and yet, when I saw these brave women together, and I saw the candidates who were coming into the race, I remembered viscerally why I ran in 2019, and those reasons did not change. The fact that we were the top gentrifying city in the nation, displacing our historic communities. The fact that we were sweeping people like trash when those of us told the administration that it would make homelessness worse, and it did. When we said that we cannot afford to live and work in our city. We need people who understood the struggle. And so when Candy and I and others talked each other into running, which was well documented by Rebecca Henderson's Running With My Girls. We ran then out of necessity, not because of political ambition. We ran because our people were hurting and our people were dying in the street. So when we have these other politicians now jumping in, when they could have jumped in back then, and we know that a true mark of a leader is when you jump in, not when it's convenient, but when you are compelled. You know, the top two contenders have a ton of money being poured into this race. One of them, one of them was born and raised in Vail and thinks that stopping his job, quitting his job while he's running was a sacrifice for him. But if you got a chalet in a ski resort that's helping to fund your campaign, and a billionaire of LinkedIn, don't act like it's a, it's, a, it's a sacrifice to quit your job. Because we know what it's like for people who can't afford to quit their jobs and are still working here to try to survive in this city. And not to mention that he's run for every major political office. I mean, come on. And then on the other hand, and lost, thank you. <laughs> and then on the other hand, you have someone who says she's never run for office before, and yet for the past 12 years and longer have been pulling the strings of this city behind the scenes, been against family leave, been against workers' rights, and wants to now convince us that she cares about us. But we got a secret that they don't know. It's <laughs> so in addition to me, <laughs> our secret is, is that we as progressives may be late, but we are always right on time. <laughs> and we know that our people didn't vote until yesterday and today. So let them, let them celebrate tonight as if they are winning because we know the progressive wave is coming and they will be surprised whether it takes tomorrow or Thursday, we are going to run this city. We're gonna be just fine.